it wasn't even recording. Okay, our second target is a pull tab. Third target is just a piece of foil. Next target is a Heineken. So the next target is a piece of aluminum foil. So the next target was like this little button from like a jeans or something. It's really small. It's like one of those snap buttons. It's a Corona bottle cap. The next one is a Coke top. It's very dangerous people. Do not leave your trash on the beach, please. Next signal is this small blue bottle cap for like a Red Bull top. My first good signal of the day, a nickel. Cool. Next signal is a dime. There you go. So I found the top of a Coke. Diet Coke, sorry. <laughs> so whoever drank this was on a diet, apparently. Don't leave the Coke cans on the beach, people. It's annoying. Next target is an old corroded Corona bottle cap. All right, on to the next one. Next bottle cap is Corona. A lot of people like Corona on Ocean Beach, it seems. Another bottle cap, I don't know which one this is, but we'll see. Another red, rusty bottle cap. Another bottle cap. Found another nickel. My uh, camera battery is about to die, I didn't bring my other battery. But uh, this is the third nickel I found, and a dime, so I'm up to 25 cents. Cool. On February 21st, we went to Orchard Beach. The closest beach to where I live here in the Bronx, the man-made beach, said that had gotten his metal detector in the mail the day before or a few days before, so we decided to go to the beach that day. Unfortunately, the beaches are closed. Between Labor Day and Memorial Day, the beaches in New York are open, but when we went, they were closed for a while, since last September. So this beach has been hunted over by many detectors and not visited quite often because the weather hasn't been good. So unfortunately there weren't a lot of good targets, as a matter of fact a lot of trashy targets were left there, uh, so it was basically like a beach cleanup that we did. But I have a wrap up here to show you guys everything that I found. I tried to record most of what I found but my camera battery died and I didn't bring the replacement battery. I'll show you most of what I found, oh, everything I found right now. So yeah th guys this is everything I found. We're just going to start with the left. These two huge can tops, I don't know why people do this. They break the tops off of the cans and they bury it deep in the sand. Uh, a good many bottle caps, all different types. There was one bottle cap in particular, let's see if I can find it, which one it was. Yeah, this bottle cap had a face inside and it actually says uh, Henry's Finest Hour in there. So yeah, I'm going to add all these bottle caps to my bottle cap collection and try to make some art out of it have aluminum foil targets, pull tabs, this thing which I think was from like a vapor but basically everything except for the pull for these uh, bottle caps are trash uh, and then on the good side have a lot of nickels actually three nickels and one dime which brings the total for this hunt up to 25 cents and since I had 22 cents last time the total for the year is 47 cents I also found this piece of jewelry, this earring. It's not real. Well, at least it doesn't look real. It has no markings. And I've tried looking really hard. It just doesn't look real. And so I might use it in a piece of art. I'll keep it around. So that's the wrap up everything I found uh, during the hunt in February. Again, Orchard Beach hasn't been passed through since September. Hasn't been like a, a place where people go since September. Mainly it's been metal detectorists and people who live close by there going for a jog hanging out at the beach or people drinking which is where all the bottle caps come and it's one of the dirtier beaches Coney Island tends to be a lot better but since Orchard Beach is closest to where I live that's where I went and I last year I found actually some pretty good stuff at the beach during beach season I might go again one or two times before beach season just to like pick up everything uh, this time when I went was with my stepdad 
and we were testing out his metal detector so that was really cool he got a bounty hunter metal detector and we were testing it out because we really didn't know like how it would sound how to find targets anything like that so I was giving him hints with how I find things with mine and how he can use his detector to the best of his advantage too but yeah uh, hopefully in the future uh, we could do hunts on video me and my stepdad of uh, the things we find but yeah 47 cents this year metal detecting so yeah I didn't show this in the last video but I have a single jar where I put like the buttons and the coins that I found last year and the zipper pulls everything that I said I was keeping so this stuff the 25 cents and the uh, earring is definitely going in there and I also wanted to show off the earring a bit better because I don't think I got a really good video of the earring. So yeah, it has like flowers. And the back is just like plain. So that's that. That's also going into the Pringles jar. Right behind me, right here, is the parachute ride, what used to be the parachute ride in Old Steeplechase Park. In 1939, this structure was part of the New York World's Fair. over and purchased by Steeplechase Park where people would go all the way to the top of the structure and parachute down. The ride took about a minute to go up and about 10 to 20 seconds to go down and sometimes it was dangerous people would get tangled in the ropes or get stuck up there. A few interesting things happened people would, uh, there was one story about a couple getting married up there. Eventually Steeplechase Park went out of business in 1964 and that's when the, the last time that this ride was in operation. taken out of here because it's a landmark of New York. They actually call it the Eiffel Tower of New York. There was a few other things that happened here but we'll talk about that in a different video. And something really cool happens to this structure at night but I'm not going to be here at night just metal detecting during the day. Maybe later this summer I'll show you that. That's also cool. Alright so we're going to search here in Coney Island. The beach is right behind me. And I have me and my stepdad here. We're getting ready, setting up the detectors, so we'll see you on the beach. Hey guys, so we found our first good find of the day, the quarter. Let me see if I can get a year off of it, 2015 quarter. I'll get it cleaned up. Out here in Coney Island, just found another penny. This is actually pretty 
over here. So, yeah, the first penny I find that's not crusty on the beach, so. Alright, so the next item I'm finding, I found, <laughs> was this penny. It's a bit crusty, but I saved it before it was too bad. It's 2016, so these newer pennies, they get crusted really easily. Because they're made out of zinc instead of copper like the pennies before 1982 were. So I just got this nickel. Looks pretty cool. Um, I can't get a year off of it. Actually, hold on. 1979 nickel. So yeah. Definitely on the board today. A lot better than my last two hunts in terms of, of change found. Um, out here in Coney Island, found another nickel. The year is 2016. So yeah. Hey guys, today is March 2nd and I just got back from Coney Island. I had a blast with my stepdad. It's the off season. There's not a lot of people. And because there's not a lot of people, we didn't find a lot of good stuff. Most of the stuff I found was just trash. But I have everything here to show you everything I found. So please enjoy. So this is everything I found at Coney Island. The good, the bad, the ugly. Uh, let's start with the change. We have a quarter, two nickels and four pennies for a total of 39 cents best day all year during the summer i do have a lot better luck but again it's the off season uh a hennessy bottle cap and then this other pink bottle cap i don't know what it's for it's just very small and pink uh, interestingly enough i did find two nails so that one and this one and i don't usually find these types of things at the beach the nails i found a lighter which unfortunately does not work. I found three fishing weights. These things are kind of heavy. One shaped like a ball, one... They're all very corroded from being in the ocean for so long. But yeah, three fishing weights. Pieces of aluminum foil. Uh, this tougher metals. I don't know what exactly they are. This one actually does feel like aluminum foil. This one does too. Uh, this round thing, I have no idea what this is. Three pull tabs here. One of them is red. Basically all this stuff is garbage. What I do keep are the bottle caps though, and we actually have found some good ones. Most of them are Corona. It seems like a lot of people in Coney Island like to drink Corona, but I like these really crusty, uh, corroded ones. Hopefully I could do a pretty cool art piece, uh, just with all different types of Corona, uh, bottle caps, uh, because I do collect a lot of them. But, like we always do, we have my Pringles cans of things I found this year. Just gonna throw all the good finds, so the coins into the can and my jar of bottle caps is already full so I'm starting a box so this box is completely empty so I'm just gonna put the bottle caps in here and hopefully uh, hopefully it won't be too bad by the end of the year Everything else is getting thrown out to the trash, so I hope you enjoyed the video. I was hoping on making this the third video, the first being uh, East River Park, the second being Orchard Beach, and the third being Coney Island. But unfortunately, I didn't take a, little, a lot of footage at Orchard Beach, and so this and the Orchard Beach footage are in one video. But it's awesome because they're the two times I've been to the beach, and uh, to be honest, I probably won't be out to the beach in a while because... It is not beach season, people aren't throwing things down at the beach, and this is actually perfect weather to go to a New York City park. And so I think I'm going to go back to going to East River Park and probably some of the other parks here in the Bronx. I'm very interested in seeing Edgar Allan Poe's house in Poe Park and getting footage from there. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and we'll see you next time.